now we are dealing with exercise 1.3 question number 3 question number 3 what does the question says classify the following numbers as rational or irrational classify the following numbers is rational and irrational this is the question now what uh, the question is given roman number one three plus root two now three plus root two whether this number is a rational number or irrational number three is obviously a rational number this is rational why rational because it is in the form of p by q where q doesn't equal to 0 over here it is q is equal to 1 but root 2 is an irrational number okay therefore this whole number 3 plus root 2 it will become irrational number so we, we have to write roman number 1 it is irrational number roman number 2 roman number 2 3 minus root 2 3 minus root 2 same thing root 2 is an irrational number 3 is a rational number so this becomes irrational number rational irrational number roman number 3 roman number 3 2 root 5 2 root 5 root 5 is an irrational number any number if you multiply with irrational number it will become irrational number so this is also a irrational number let me take next page roman number 4 1 divided by root 7 root 7 this is an irrational number so whole this number will become irrational number irrational number 5 roman number 5 let me write down 3 plus root 3 minus root 3 now you if you look you can see root 3 root 3 so these are irrational number but wait you have to do some calculation you just break this remove this bracket okay so if you remove remove this bracket you can write like this so plus root 3 and minus root 3 it gets cancelled or it becomes 0 so the answer will be 3 here so we have to write 3 so this is 3 so 3 is a rational number so it is a rational number Roman number 6, 6 we have 13 plus root 7 plus 4 minus root 7. Same here, open the bracket first. Let me open the bracket. So plus 4 minus root 7. Okay, plus 7 minus 7. All this two will be cancelled. 13 plus 4 it is 17 so 17 is a rational number so write down rational number let us do next question next question is roman number 7 roman number 7 it is 4 root 21 divided by 5 root 21 since 21 is both here so here it is if nothing is written okay then it is multiply here this also multiply right so you can cancel 21 root 21 and root 21 so it is 4 so 4 divided 4 into root 21 divided by 5 into root 21 21 21 cancel so it will be 4 divided by 5 
I hope it is clear to you. Question number eight. Question number eight. Question number eight. Let me take root two plus root three. Root three minus root two. So let's check what will be with this one. So look here. Here it is multiply sign. Okay. These two numbers, there is multiply sign between. So what you are going to do? You are going to multiply with this number. How you are going to multiply? Look very carefully. Okay. Take root two first, this number, and multiply to both this. Root three minus root two. Now take plus three again, plus root three, and you multiply to this one again. So root three minus root two. I hope it is clear. You are taking the first number, multiplying by this number to both these two. Okay, and taking the second number and multiplying to both these two. So let's do that. Root two into root three, it will be root three to the six minus root two into root two, it will be root two square. Okay, so root three into root three, it will be plus root three square. And root three into minus root three, it will be minus three to the six. So root six. If you look here carefully, you can see plus six, plus root six, and minus root six can be cancelled. So this is minus two and root can be cancelled. So minus two here two and root can be cancelled. So here it is plus three. So minus two plus three, it will be one. So one is a rational number, therefore it is rational. That's all. Question number one, question number three is done. Thank you. We'll meet in the next video.